My name is Mike Moose. I uh, live in the Langdon, North Dakota area. I've um, been farming here all my life, I'm 43 years old. Started farming right out of high school, basically. Uh, fourth generation family farm with a fifth one starting up right behind me. I got kids coming up behind, starting already on the farm. So it's fun knowing that the next generation is coming. Of course, there's always the uncertainty, the risks in farming and stuff like that. But the kids are, are, are stepping on board and, and are looking forward to it. And I know I've enjoyed working with my, my dad and my grandpa, and, and I think my kids do too. So hopefully that continues. The spring, right before spring planting in April, we were doing some cleaning one Friday afternoon. and. I fell down and hurt my back, so uh, I went into the doctor to get some medicine and got to checking on a few things and she asked if I had anything else I wanted to be looked at, so I said, yeah, I got a lump on my neck, so maybe we should look at it, and it just so happened there was a specialist in our local hospital that day, and so he came and took a look and decided to do a little more testing and uh, found some cancer. So it's not the word anybody ever wants to hear, but we're dealing with it. Like I said, after all the testing, the official diagnosis was adenocarcinoma of an unknown origin. So we don't really know where it started, but primarily right now it's in my lymph nodes and, and my bones. I've been taking some treatments for that, some radiation treatments, three different times I think it was for the radiation, and uh, doing chemo. And so far so good, I guess. We're, we're making headway. I was down to Mayo a few different times. Just got back from Mayo a couple days ago with uh, some positive news. We gotta tweak a few things, but we're moving in the right direction, so we're working on beating this thing. Of course, planting is always a busy time and between our, my farm and I also run a seed business on the side. It was quite stressful, but I had good friends and employees and customers that helped me through it. I wasn't around a lot this spring, but we got through it. I've heard about Farm Rescue for lots of years, you know, heard about all the good things and know all the good work that they do. It was actually mentioned to me this spring right away when I was diagnosed that maybe I need to get contact them and, and have them help the spring with planting, but I felt we were able to get through it with the friends, family, and we did. We, we did find the spring, we got through it. But then as my diagnosis got a little more serious, we decided maybe we, we do need to contact them, so I was given all the information on who to contact, and now I, here I am with you fine folks. It was a simple online application and got a phone call and basically said I was accepted and some paperwork after that a little bit, but it's been a very easy process so far. Until I really dove into it did I realize how many people it takes to make this work. More impressive or very impressive that the, the people that come with. There's people from all over the country that just decide they want to go help a stranger. There's not everybody wants to do that, so pretty cool experience. Very worthwhile from what I can tell so far. I'd like to thank all the sponsors. I don't know them all just yet, but Langdon Implement, who is our local dealer, they've been more than courteous and kind and helpful in getting this ball started and help get it rolling, so much appreciated to the people in there. Borrowing a header to the guys and, uh, you know, Mike and Bill, their family's been good customers of ours and friends of ours for forever, so it really wasn't uh, much decision making, it was just, yeah, what can we do to help? There's highs in this industry, but there's lows and companies like Farm Rescue come help. But, Real important to guys, we've had some customers that have got sick or hurt and they've came in and either helped plant the crop or harvest the crop and uh, this year you guys are coming up to help Mike and it means a lot to them and a lot to everybody in the community to, to help out. Hoping for the best, uh, hoping you can get healthy and uh, happy we could help you out and uh, thank you for all the business through the years and the friendship. My friends and family, neighbors, they're coming out of the woodworks. Oh, it's been very humbling to know that there's that kind of support out there from everybody, from my employees. Can't thank them enough. Family, mom, dad, very appreciative. Yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. The process was simple. I think it's a very valuable tool in your tool chest to help you out through those tough times because you go through a medical thing, or whether it be a cancer or something like that, it's life-changing and, and having that extra help is amazing. Mm -hmm.